this session, you're going to learn from Kathleen Dunphy, planner, painter, and much sought after workshop instructor. She designed and built her own studio in the Sierra Nevada foothills of Northern California, where the pristine setting of her home provides endless inspiration for her work. Her landscapes can be found in galleries across the United States of America, and she was elected to join the prestigious Planner Painters of America as one of only 35 signature members. Definitely. I mean, it's funny because um, through Facebook, you know, I had I went down the convention and saw people I haven't seen in 10 years, but I know everything in the world that they're doing because they put it online. Um, and, you know, f Facebook, social networking, there's a double-edged sword to that. You can kind of get sucked into it and spend too much time on it, but it's a great way to keep in touch with people. It's a great way to see what people are doing, to find out about some of these opportunities, to hear about some of the shows that you can enter and some of the planner events you can go to. Um, so it's, it's definitely great for that. It can be, you know, they talk about that, uh, what do they call it? FOMO, fear of missing out when you get on Facebook and you see all these people and, you know, none of us post when we're having a bad day, right? None of us post our bad paintings. It's all like, I just won an award or I sold a $10,000 painting or whatever. And you kind of go, oh, I'm a loser in my studio, you know? And so you have to be careful about that, but it is a great way to keep in touch. And, you know, people I haven't seen in a while, you, you comment on their, their, their painting that they posted and, and they're like, oh yeah, Kathleen. And that keeps that, that spark alive between you. So I, I think it's a great, great tool to have as long as it's used cautiously. You can waste hours doing that stuff. So my routine now is in first thing in the morning, have a cup of coffee. Before I start any of my work, I get online, check any emails that have come in, try to respond to those as soon as I can. Sometimes if it's busy, I can't respond as quickly as I want to or would like to. Um, and then I get, I try to post on social media. Not every single day. I, tr I only post when I feel like I have something really worthwhile. You know, we all, we've all seen those posts of like, you know, what they ate for breakfast. And really, I mean, <laughs> does it really matter? Does it really pertain to something that's going to help my career, help people understand how, who I am and, and who I am as an artist? So I try to have, um, I guess you'd say meaty um, uh, posts, something that really has some information in it. So I, I try to do that uh, first thing in the morning. And then occasionally I'll check during the day just to see what kind of response it has. But I, I try to do all of that rapidly and get off of it. So like maximum 15 minutes um, because I know what a time suck that can be where all of a sudden you're going down the vortex of social media and you're, you're in the middle of it and can't get out. Um, you know, there's, if I, if I'm posting something, I always like to see the response that a pain gets, you know? So if I post something and I, I'm curious as to whether it hit the mark or not, I'll go back and check from time to time, but I try to keep that really minimal so that I'm not just spending too much time on that. I think directly asking for sales is a bad idea. I think if you go, here's this painting, it's great, I'm great, and it's, you know, X thousand of dollars, um, you know, be the first one to buy it, you know, be the lucky one or something like that. Have a little bit of uh, humbleness when you're online, you know, try to, try to just put the painting out there. If somebody wants it, they'll let you know. Um, it's kind of the, you have to be a little coy, let's say, you know, you have to, I think that, what really turns me off at least, and I think turns collectors off, but maybe I'm wrong, is, is the hard sell. You know, buy now and you know, get a free frame or something like that. I think, I'd like to think that uh, art sales have a little higher calling <laughs> and we should be a little bit more um, discreet with that. I, but I do think some of that can kind of backfire. Um, uh, and I think that, that getting too aggressive, we have to tell them they're for sale, but we can do that just by saying, here's a link to the website and then they can see it on your website with the price and they can click there to buy. But it's the hard sales, especially on social media that I think can kind of turn people off. I send out an email newsletter um, from my website every couple of months. Um, and again, I wait until I have an event or some reason to send it out. Right. And then when I do that, I get on Facebook or, and Instagram and I say, hey, I just sent out my email newsletter. If you'd like to sign up, here's the link. And that has brought a lot of people to my website and a lot of people to my email newsletter. And when they're on your newsletter lists, it's like gold because those are the people who really want to see what you're doing. It's not that, that um, wide net that you cast for social media where you're like, let me send this out to a million people and maybe a thousand are going to want to see it. With an email newsletter, you send it out to a thousand, and those thousand have already said, "Yeah, I want to see your work." 
So it narrows down that, that focus for you. So that to me has been something that has really helped a lot. And then being consistent with that email newsletter, which mm -hmm. I'm late in sending out and need to work on this week. Um, just, I, I used to feel like, well, nobody really wants to know what I'm doing, but they do. And, and you need to make sure that in your newsletter, it's something kind of um, unique. You know, maybe you're, you're, you're writing a paragraph that isn't something you've posted on social media so that they feel like they're, they're getting a glimpse into your life that is, they're getting rewarded, let's say, for signing up for your, for your newsletter. And I, I feel like that's been a really good tool for me.